Okay. This will take us up to the Tree of Knowledge. Gotta like that Tree of Knowledge. I think there's some secrets hidden around here, though, that I feel like looking for. Whee! This is fun! What's this thing? This looks important. Looks like I should be here. Maybe not, though. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. How do I get back up? Oh, can I climb these? Nope. Great, my experimentation got the best of me, so now I can't get back up. Oh, wait. Oh, there's something. Yay! Wrath chest! For another wrath shard. I like, I like. Now let's find a way back up. Okay. I have a feeling there's more stuff though. More stuff I want to find. Look at all these waterfalls. So many waterfalls in the world today. What's this? <gasps> a chest? You don't say. What's in here? Abyssal armor. The legendary precision crafted armor allows Ward to sustain much more damage. Basically, super defense. Although, it's kind of pointless now. We're at the very near end of the game. I don't think we really have very many bosses left. So... Honestly, I don't think that was really that great of a reward. Nonetheless, we do have them. That is something we can now verify. We have the complete Abyssal Armor set. I have never collected the whole set before. I thought I did, but apparently not. So this is what we're going to look like for the rest of the game. Very dark, very gray. Not sure if I really like that, but that's cool. I'll take it, I guess. What do we have here? Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Muriel. Soon, I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. They knew. How did they? <laughs> the best laid plans, or so the humans used to say. You did this? You plotted your scheme to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No. I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you, my loyal servant, join me and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down, dragged in chains before the council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? Now, return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together, we will 
change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council, and proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. The council weakens. How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We cannot send the ball. Without proof, there is no justice. Only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one, for whom vengeance is reason enough. The blade is scattered. My God, the seventh seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. <laughs> You had to know it was a one-way ticket. What the hell? Okay then, well, that sure uh, revealed a whole bunch. So this is something Abaddon has done? Apparently. There's still plenty of questions though. Plenty of questions, I'm still a little confused, but we'll figure it out. The destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword, one which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But after the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman, I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him, and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. I will open the gate to Eternus. Once it is closed, the garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. Okay, so, Abaddon is the actual destroyer, not Straga. But he was kind of in cahoots with Straga after he was defeated. And uh, apparently the Council's involved, but we're not going to let the Watcher know that we're aware of that. So, we'll figure out things as we continue through this game. For now, though, we're going to go back to the actual world that we came from. Going to collect a few extras, and then, after that, we're going to call it quits. The last uh, recording session will be happening 
well, after this video, pretty much, but, uh, it's gonna be probably a week or two from when I'm actually recording this session. And, I'm um, pretty much gonna record from that point on to the rest of the game, because there is not much left, folks. There most definitely is not. Seek Ulfheim. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate. Dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon. And all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it. Whatever the light decides, go. Waste no more time on me. And tell Ulfheim. He is the last hope of an old fool. Will do. So now we have to look for the pieces of the Armageddon Blade. Here's one right here. So that's one of the seven pieces, and if you actually look at your map, the map, not the start menu, you can actually get a pretty good idea of where they're all located. I'm not going to be looking for all the pieces now, that's what I'm going to be starting with in the next recording session, but I am going to go very quickly to go search a few different places and uh, well, essentially just get ready for the last part of the game. So the first place we're going to go to is we are going to go to the Scalding Gallows. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we are in the Scalding Gallow to the Drown Pass access tunnel. There is actually a portal over here. Let's go ahead and activate that. If I can... There we go. And then back down here, where we got another extra earlier. Jump up here, follow this thing up, and look at that. There is the other portal we need to access. I think I have to use this uh, little thing down here, though, to reach the portal. I think I can do that. There we go. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Okay, cool. Got a Wrath Shard. That's the first thing we need. Uh, next, we're going to go back to the Drown Pass again. Okay, we are back in the Drown Pass. This one's uh, actually pretty close to where we were before, but... Uh, First, we need to make our way back to Volgrim. We'll go ahead and start slaying these guys. I have started using the scythe now, now that we've uh, actually uh, finished up with the Chaos Eater. It's fully powered all the way, so... That means I can go back to doing this thing. Hooray! These enemies are pretty powerful, so as you can see, the scythe is doing a lot of damage, considering. Which I definitely approve of that. Anyway, what we need to get over here involves using the Abyssal Chain. We could have gotten this earlier, but I uh, decided to wait until now. Because for some reason it was further down in my checklist. That's okay with me, though. Okay, next place we're going to go to... Uh, we're actually going to go to... 
to the Ashlands, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, now that we've made it to the Ashlands, we're going to immediately go back. <laughs> Actually, no, we're not going to go straight back to where we were. We're going to go to the dry road. The reason why we're doing this is there's actually secret treasure you can find in these hallways here. These serpent tunnels. As you can see over there, we have a lifestone chest. Or, no, this is a wrath chest, never mind. But yeah, see, we can find stuff like that in these serpent tunnels. You just have to know where to look. But I need to actually go ahead and get to the dry road anyway because there is another serpent hole treasure we can get. So let's make our way through here. So in other words, I'm, I'm obviously using a guide to find this stuff out, but you know, if you just go through certain tunnels, you may be able to find ways to access this kind of stuff without even realizing it. Just try different combinations of places to go and sooner or later you should be able to find it. Which I think is kind of interesting. But yes, here we are at the dry road. We can immediately go back though. And this time we're gonna go to Anvil's Ford, which is over here. And once again, if we look around us, we may be able to find something. Also look for the grappling points too, because they may actually take us to where we need to go as well. I haven't seen anything yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see you guys over there. Ouch. <laughs> that didn't really work. Uh, let's try that again. For some reason that didn't work. It really should have. I don't know why it didn't. Uh... There we go. Over here we have another Wrath Shard, but I think that is, that should be the last Wrath Shard in the game, but apparently not. Apparently I'm missing one. Or, well, I'm missing a whole Wrath Core anyway. I'll have to figure that out, because I don't really know why I'm missing anything. I shouldn't be. Okay, okay, let's, uh... Oh, okay, I'm back on track anyway. So, let's go ahead and go over here. Next place we're going to go is we're going to go to the Broken Stair. Okay, we're here at the Broken Stair. We're going to go back. <laughs> Once we find him, there he is. And we're going to go to the Twilight Cathedral. Because once again, there is another Serpent Hole treasure. This one, I think, is going to be more worth it, though. I think. Actually, before I do, is there anything back here? Just making sure I'm not missing it. Ah, there it is. I see it. I wonder, can I use my Mask of Shadows? Maybe that might show me a secret. Aha! We do need to use the Mask of Shadows, that's what I thought. Not from here, though. Okay, that is good to know, though. That is good to know that I have the right idea. Let's go ahead and wear the mask again. Okay, now those are the Fulgrim signs. I'll just keep going through this place. Eventually I should find something. Actually, there's something down there. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Where is it, though? Where am I looking? Let 
Maybe I just ride it up here anyway. I couldn't exactly see which way to go there, guys. That's kind of unfortunate. Or maybe I just go over there. That might be it. Whee! Okay, yeah, so I use this to get over here, and there's some more platforms, which will take me up here. Okay, that makes sense. See, things make sense after a while. You just have to figure out where to go. I can still keep going. Oh, no! Those corners, man. Those corners. Those deadly, deadly corners. I have to do this again? Okay, then. Never mind. Okay. Let's actually go the right way this time. And not fall off the corner. It's a very bad corner. Corners are evil. I dislike them. Okay. Gonna keep on climbing, climbing all the way up. Here we go. See, I knew where to go, it just took me a while to figure it out. This will give us a life shard. Oh, we're still missing two. That doesn't seem right. Why are we missing two, you might be asking. Well, I'll let you guys know. We actually have the means to collect the other two life shards with us at this moment. Because we have all of the champion artifacts and all of the soldier artifacts, if we give them to Volgrim, he will give us a lifestone shard for collecting all the champions and a lifestone shard for collecting all the soldiers. That's how that works. Let's go ahead and trade them our loot. Don't have a lot of souls to give and spend at the moment. But we do have full power and full health. Uh, is... Volgrim actually has a Wrath Core. That's how you get the last one. Okay, that makes sense. So, as a result, I'm not going to spend my money to get this or anything else. I'm just going to wait until I have what I need to actually buy that, and then I'll get that later. So, I think this is actually where I'm going to end this recording session. So, this has been Slim Kirby. I will see you guys next time for the final recording session of Darksiders. We are almost done, folks. It's been a great ride. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project, and uh, I'll see you guys for the end of it. Later, folks.